Time to forget and leave the past behind you. Please scroll on. If this doesn't resonate, I feel like this is someone who's ashamed of something. I got five cards. Usually have four. This this situation has really brought you to a new place spiritually, and you need to be grateful for that. And all you can do is move on. Um, I feel like it has passed. This too shall pass. And I think it, the less energy you give to it, the better. I think people are expecting you to give energy to it, expecting a response or expecting, I don't know. They're just hoping they can keep messing with you. Um, they can't. I think what happened, though, is whatever this was, people are feeding off the chaos, off the drama. And I think you maybe, maybe you see that now. Or maybe you don't. But I think what's going on is you see the consequences of your actions. A mirror was held up to you. Like you didn't realize how you made someone feel or you didn't realize... Because maybe you didn't mean it that way. Or maybe it wasn't, it was intended for this, but really this happened. But you blame yourself. Um, what's that, whatever's going on here, someone misses the drama. They miss the chaos. Like, it, I feel like I'm talking also to someone who could be posting stuff on social media. I don't know if it's to the, you know, content creator level. But could just be your personal Facebook page even or something. But someone misses certain things you said because it gave them something to talk about or something so maybe it gave them a scapegoat yeah okay it gave them a scapegoat and they oh okay I think that's what's going on someone angry that they can't use you as a scapegoat and that's you know what that's what it is but here's the thing it doesn't even matter that's that is what's going on though like they were talking about you and you I don't know. I think you flipped and did something they didn't expect. Um, they expected you to cause some drama when you just kind of stopped giving into it. I just want to tell you to keep going. Like, no matter what happens, like, it's time to stop blaming yourself. They're hoping you're going to blame yourself. I think they were using that to beat up on you, hoping you'd continue to beat up on yourself. But you've done it long enough. I mean, you did it all. It shouldn't have been done to begin with. Um, look, I take the Bible as an allegory. In Isaiah 53, I keep saying this and thinking about this. Jesus died for our sin and our guilt. It's one thing to acknowledge it, but you can't keep dwelling in that. You know, you can't keep letting these, letting any of this yourself or anyone else um, bring this back into your life by talking about, by making you feel guilty. Because all you can do is keep going. Apologize if necessary. Apologize. Um, make peace if that's what it takes. But just keep going. Don't, um, don't give in to the chaos. Don't give in to the drama. Oh, okay. But I think this is about you disconnecting from whatever this is. Like, if there's someone around saying, um, they're talking about you, they're saying this about you, look at this, you know, or it even could be like, uh, maybe you have books published and there's someone who is watching your book reviews for you when you're trying to ignore them. Because honestly, the best thing you can do is ignore them, all of them. Um, anyway, I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm just going to say... The point is, there's someone out there keeping more track of you online than you are, maybe, and they're going back to you with this with this ma this mess, and you really just don't have time for it. You don't even want the, you don't even want to devote the energy to it. Why would you? Why should you? Um. Anyway, you need to disconnect from whoever this is that's feeding you this garbage. Okay, because that's what's going on. Like you're trying to make a fresh start, make a, a better name for yourself, maybe. Maybe you're trying to change. Other people are the ones wanting to hold you back. You can't do anything about that. You can't do anything about that. You just got to keep moving forward. Stop giving energy to it. And just keep going. Another level. This is where you're going. If you let go of this. I feel like that's what I'm trying to tell you here. Is the next level is already here. You're, it's. I think you're holding yourself back. Like beating yourself up really. Thinking that you don't deserve this or that you brought this into your life. So let's, you know, you made your bed. You need to lie in it. No. Didn't Jesus say, take up your bed and walk. <laughs> you know, I just hear realize that. Cause I'm always so angry with people who use that. Like it's your fault, your fault. Like you just need to, you know, some, there are times when that is necessary because you have to learn a lesson, but you know, af beyond that, like let's say somebody just made bad, bad decisions or maybe, bad decisions because with the right spirit like you couldn't even like even going back maybe you'd still make the same decisions Do, because you were just doing what you bet the best you could with the knowledge you had at the time 
you know, and people want to just, they just want to beat you up with that and make you just wallow in, I don't know what they think, but that's on them, that's not on you, okay, you're triggering their insecurities, and you can't help what they think, it's time to put that behind you, I don't want to lose you, see, they miss you too, I'm telling you, this is because they miss using you as a scapegoat, they miss having someone they can manipulate, having someone they could trigger at will, they didn't want to lose that. But somebody out there was counting on you having a reaction that you didn't have. And you made them look bad. And they're trying to pull you back into it. Don't let them. Do not let them. Anything is possible for you. Especially, look, I mean, this goes back to this another level. Let go of this. It's time to let go of it. Um, you are going to the next level. Nothing can hold you back. But, you know, there's no reason to make it. There's no reason to make it any harder. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like. If going to the next level, it means greasing the wheels with something like letting go of this, that's what you need to do, okay? Two more cards. You are successful, see? You are successful. I think you're telling yourself you're not or that you, I'm telling you, you are. Let's bring this in. You already are. Let's visualize it. I want you to just close your eyes and take seven to ten seconds visualizing what that looks like for you. It doesn't matter if it's a fictional world, okay? Make it as fictional as you want. Visualize it and feel it. Think about the smells, the sounds. What are you eating? What are you drinking? Seven to ten seconds in that world. Who's talking to you? What do you hear? Is there anyone talking to you? Do you just hear the beach? Think about what is success to you. You flow with love. That's going to take you to even higher ne next level, okay? Especially when we talk about group consciousness, unity consciousness, the love we have for each other. Have that for other people. Learn from this. Take this, what you learn from this, and apply it for the rest of your life, okay? You flow with love. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.